heading across the lake, uh, looking for these guys, see if uh, I can spot them. I believe they're out scouting the condition of the ice. I'm on snowshoes. Oh, a few hundred meters down here. I saw them go by on a gator type device. On February 9th, a truck driven by a young couple unfamiliar with the area went through thin ice on Beaver Lake near Tamworth and Aaronsville, Ontario, Canada. Fortunately, the couple escaped unharmed. Today, I met up with the team preparing to remove the vehicle from the ice. Brandon, Brandon Don Joyce. Hi. Oh, are you the, the drone guy? The drone guy. Awesome, yes. <laughs> We've heard a lot about it. This side's crazy. It's all two, four, six, eight inches of uh, good solid ice at the very bottom. The rest is all like the top layer here. Really? And then on the other side, it's all good ice. It makes sense. We're doing our core test here. You know, you're looking for nice clear ice, and we're seeing a lot of hard talk snow. Now, so we're still assessing our options. Um, that would be ideal because it's nice and close, right? We're Far, but again, we wanted to start from this way and see, you know, if we could how how the ice was around here because we didn't think that road was accessible, right? We yeah. knew this one. Lucan and Brandon lead the ice recovery team for Bartlett's Towing, which has been assigned to remove the truck from the lake. The company is based in North Bay, nearly 400 kilometers from Beaver Lake, but is one of a small number in the province equipped and certified to tackle ice recovery operations like this. The team arrived on Thursday to scout out the area, measure ice thickness, you can see their markings on the ice, and decide on the recovery plan. The most likely approach in this case will be to actually sink the truck, then tow it under the ice a short distance to an area of stronger ice in front of this nearby A-frame cottage. If all goes according to plan, a specialized hoist will then lift the truck straight up through a hole cut in the ice. A tough job, but these guys definitely know what they're doing. With this weekend's warm weather forecast, the recovery is currently on hold, since working on soft, mushy ice can be very dangerous. It is expected to resume as soon as colder weather arrives next week, and I hope to catch the team in action when they return.